Hey friends, Vince here. Welcome back to the channel. Today it's scolding hot outside and I got a summertime favorite for you. We're doing seafood today. We're doing Maryland style crab cakes. So crab cakes, they gotta be one of my favorite seafood dishes to make. They're so easy to make, simple and delicious. And today I'm gonna show you to make it a notch better than the rest. Friends, if you haven't already asked that you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make new videos on Thursdays. I really appreciate your support. So as always guys, I have a list of all the ingredients directly below for you. Thanks for sticking along and let's get started. Start off by cracking open one egg into a bowl. The first step in our process for making crab cakes is putting together a quick wet mix. Whisk your egg real quick until it's nice and smooth. Then add a splash of W sauce. We're gonna squeeze in the juice from one lemon We're also gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Then we're gonna add two spoonfuls of mayo. Once everything is in a bowl, we're gonna mix it until it's smooth enough that all the large chunks are blended in. Then set your bowl aside and grab some fresh Italian parsley. We're gonna chop about one third of it fine. A little bit of fresh herbs really give this dish great color and great flavor. Grab a large mixing bowl and throw in one pound of lump crab meat. Take a minute to run through it with your hands. We want to make sure to keep those beautiful lump pieces of crab together, but also make sure it's ready for a good mix. Now it's time to grab our bowl with our wet mix, layered all over the lump crab meat. Then grab that fresh parsley we chopped up and give it a little extra love. We're also going to add in some garlic powder, Old Bay, and black pepper. Grab half a dozen crackers and break them into your crab mix. Be careful not to overdo it with your crackers or your breadcrumbs. We want our crab to run things around here. Mix everything with your hands so your crab cake mix is blended beautifully. Be gentle though, we wanna retain those big pieces of crab. I'm gonna hit it with just a splash of panko before giving it one last final mix. Now if you've ever made chicken salad or maybe shrimp salad, the end result is going to be somewhat similar, but a quick spoiler for you. It's much more delicious. Throw your mix in the fridge for about 15 to 60 minutes, depending on how long you have. That way, it won't fall apart quite as easy. We're going to mix these crab cakes right with our hands. Honestly, that's the only way to do it, in my humble opinion. Squeeze your crab cakes gently, and you'll get any excess moisture out from the wet mix to the outside of the cake. And just like that, it's ready to go. We're gonna bake these at 425 for 15 to 25 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Cooking time can vary depending on just how big you made them. And the end result is spectacular. Perfect Maryland style crab cakes right at home. Let's eat. Time to eat, guys. <sighs> I'd love to eat my crab cakes with just a little bit of mustard, but before, I'm just gonna do a little bit more lemon juice on the top of these Maryland style crab cakes. And I'm gonna do a bite without anything else, just pure. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Outstanding, folks. Outstanding. So this recipe makes four big old crab cakes. It's perfect for two to possibly even four people. Now we're going to try a bite with just a little bit of this horseradish mustard. Kind of scooping it from the bottom. Cheers. Mmm. Mustard and crab, baby. It's a match made in heaven. A little dip. Mm. You got steam just coming off of this. Outstanding. Mm. And what I love about what we did here, we have a perfect crust on the top of our crab cake, but it's still moist and just delicious on the inside. It's not dried out and it's honestly perfect. Thanks for watching. I hope to earn your subscription. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found value from it.